Hey, y'all. Microbite Monday. Short episode coming up for you. Something really powerful I think you can use. Hey, do me a favor. Whenever you're listening to this, please go subscribe, like, and send us a review. Especially if you're an Apple user, we could greatly use it. We're really, really racing up the charts. And I need your help. iTunes loves reviews and listens. Um, this episode is brought to you by Ohana Guitars and my little friends at the Jax channel, J-A-X on YouTube. Go check them out. And here we go. Monday morning, July 11th. I hope you guys are having an amazing day already. Today, we are going to talk about fear. I get asked a lot this question about being fearless, like being asked to speak or go do a sales meeting or something along that lines and not much preparation to do so. But with practice, anybody could do it. And when you believe in what you're talking about and you're fairly knowledgeable, everybody has something to share with somebody. And there's some secrets to that that we'll cover in another episode. But today I wanted to talk about fear and fear being the great indicator. Okay. Sooner or later, right, you're going to experience fear when you start taking like any new action at any new levels. Really, if you aren't, then you're probably not doing enough of the right things. Fear really is actually a sign that you're doing what's needed to move in the right direction. So you got to admit it, right? Most of the time, what you fear doesn't even occur. Think about it. It's been said, you know, fear stands for what? False events appearing real, which really implies that most of what you're afraid of doesn't even happen or come to pass. Fear, for the most part, is provoked emotion, not rational thinking. And in my humble opinion, emotions are wildly overrated right? Estimation and emotions are wildly overrated. And the scapegoat of this whole thing that many people use for their failure to act is fear. Everyone experiences fear on some level. And because the marketplace is composed of people interacting with both products and one another, the market will face fear in the same way that you and your peers do. But rather than seeing fear as a sign to run, as most people really in any market, especially in a shifting market, will do, it must become your indicator to turn around and run into it. So let's say, for example, let's say John needs to make a call to a client, a task that immediately causes him like anxiety. So rather than picking up the phone and making the call immediately, he gets a cup of coffee and thinks about what he's going to say, what he's going to do. His lengthy contemplation only causes his fear to grow. So as he imagines all the ways the call could go badly and all the potentially terrible things that could happen, he, you know, he's likely to claim that he needs to prepare before he makes the call. But preparation is merely an excuse for those who aren't trained properly and who use it as a reason to justify their last minute hang up or reluctance. John needs to take a deep breath, pick up the phone and just make the damn call. Nothing happens without action. Everyone has had experience of failing to do something that they wanted to do, right? Perhaps by the time you got yourself ready, to do that something, someone else had taken the action, and now you're regretting it. Regardless of the outcome, okay, I would say that it's far preferable to fail while doing something than fail by over-preparing while someone else walks up and scoops up, scoops up all, the, all the glory, all the success, by just taking action. People give their fears way, way much more time than they deserve. They wait to make the personal visit or phone call, write the email, or present the proposal because they're afraid of the outcome. Uh, Countless people that I know share the same excuses for why it's not a good time. 
not a good time to take action. The client's leaving town. The client just got back in town. The end of the month, beginning of the month, it rained, it snowed, it's too hot, it's too cold. The client, right? The clients have been in meetings all day. They're about to go into meetings. They're about, you know, they just bought something. They don't have the budget. They're cutting back. Business is bad. There's been a change in management or staff. I don't want to bug them. They never return my calls anyway. No one else can sell them. They're unrealistic. They're uneducated. I don't know what to say, but I'm not ready yet. I just called them yesterday and on and on and on, right? What you got to do is you got to eat your fears, man. Don't feed them by backing off or giving the, them time to like prosper and grow. Learn to look for and use fear so that you know exactly what you need to do to overcome it and advance to the next level. If you aren't experiencing fear, you're not taking actions and growing. You're not taking big enough actions. Actually take any action sometimes. Fear like fire is not something that you really should pull away from. Rather, it should be used to fuel the action. Make it happen. I hope you guys have a great Monday. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch, and say something nice to somebody. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast with Coach Wayne. Join us next time for more money-making strategies to help you have less stress and more free time. Follow us on Facebook at Productive Not Busy, on Instagram at Frontline.Coach.Wayne, and on Twitter at Wayne New Jr. And remember, be productive, not busy.